Paul, The Happy Gilder. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go over the process of upcycling old glass bottles. Now, I'm going to be using this as an example. I've had this in my kitchen cupboard for as long as I can remember. And a lot of the techniques I'm going to be using are similar to what I've been covered in previous videos, but I'm going to do this as an end-to-end -end tutorial because there are a few differences. And also, upcycling bottles doesn't necessarily require all of the industrial machinery that I've used in, in the previous videos for making mirrors. So, although initially it is going to be a file that's prepped, vectorized, and cut out, from there there's a few potential options that you can pursue if you haven't got something like a sandblaster, for example. So, I'm going to crack on. This is the label design that I'm going to be doing. Both of the fonts here are free, and I've included a link to these in the description. The design here is something that I did for a mirror that I'm going to be using for the back of the bottles, so that they've got a consistent branding and then the kind of different flavours can be on the front where the dairy logo is. So all I'm doing is laying this out in Photoshop. I don't think you need Photoshop for this because it's just a set of images and a couple of fonts, but I'm more comfortable in Photoshop so I prefer to use it. Once I'm happy with all of the size and layout, I'll then convert that to a JPEG ready for importing into the Vinyl Master software. Once the file's imported, I'm going to vectorize it following the same steps as I have done for the mirrors. But the main difference here is that when we send this to the cutter, that we turn off the mirror option so that it doesn't cut everything in reverse. So that's my designs cut into the vinyl. What I'm gonna do now is um, cut them out individually and apply application tape to apply them to the bowls. A few people have asked me why I'm picking the vinyl while I, once I've applied it to the surface instead of picking it while it's on the back in, um, while it's on the application tape. Now I do this because I often work with quite intricate designs and the backing tape obviously the, the vinyl is meant to come off it so it can move around on it and when you're picking the, the quite intricate bits you, uh, you can end up taking a bit of the design away with it that you don't want. So this is the way I've always done it. Um, it's not necessarily the right way, but it's always worked for me. If you're going to do it this way, the one thing to note is obviously which way up your labels are. So I would put things on the back to say what's pointing upwards so that I don't apply the application tape, have the label, and then suddenly not know what way it's going to go onto the bottle. So I'm going to start applying these now, pick out the design, and then take them out to the sandblaster. <music> as well because you don't really want to get sand in there because it's a bit of a pain to get out. I've decided not to mask off the rest of the bottles as well because I think it'll look quite nice considering it's a kind of milk bar that they'll be nice as white bottles but I'm going to see what one looks like. If I think if I get one out and I don't think it looks very good then I'll do eat every other one as a solid white one and then probably one with just the etched kind of design on the front. So see what this one looks like. <music> first one and I think that looks pretty nice so I'm going to do the rest of them like that because I think they'll look pretty cool as a set. So another way you can do this if you haven't got a sandblaster is by using a kind of etching cream. Now I don't know if you still can, you used to be able to just buy this off eBay, it comes in a little tube and with some um, rubber gloves you just rub it onto the area. It won't affect the vinyl but then it'll kind of burn into the surface of the glass. This won't work doing it on reverse glass with, uh, with the mirrors because mirror backing paint, I think it's got lead in it, but I've tried it before with actual hydrofluoric acid and it doesn't even touch it. So it'll have to be, I think you have to use the etching cream on, on just glass, but it's just another way of doing it if you haven't got a sandblaster. So I had a change of heart after doing the first one and thought 
the three different variants of the Milk Plus, so I thought I'd do three different styles. So for the first one, I did a completely etched surface with just the graphics left on. The second I've done a kind of gradient of etched up to completely clear, or it will be when I clean it. And then for the third one, I've masked everything off, so the only thing that's going to be visible on the bottle is the is the etched logos. So I'm just going to get the vinyl off, give them a good wash, dry them, and see what they look like. Okay, so I've removed all the vinyl, given them a wash, and let them dry on the radiator. So I'm just going to use a bit of black vinyl so that you can see the design. So this was the one that I masked off completely. That looked quite nice. With this one, I just held the sandblaster at the midpoint and circled the bottle around so that you can kind of get that gradient effect. The further away I would have held the sandblaster, the more gradual that would have been. But I think that looks quite nice as it is. This is the first one that I did. Looks quite good. So it's just an idea of something you can do with bottles that are lying around. I had another example here that I did a little while ago, which was an old cider bottle. And that kind of goes, designs go all the way around. I've left a kind of bit on space on the back where I kind of put a message. And that's it. Just a little fun project that you can do with any glass bottles that are laying around. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and click the little thumbs up icon and also share it with everyone who you think might enjoy it. So till next time, thanks.